Welcome back to round one with our sweet cruel ultimatum deck. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. I like talismans. Our opponent's on the mulligan. Uh, they kept six. Since we're on the draw, we're going to be playing the talisman before we play the, uh, the Demir Aqueduct. So that we don't have to discard. Explore. How oh, fun. Uh, yeah, we'll play Cascade Bluffs, whatever. Alright, Glissa Sunseeker. Uh, we're actually going to repulse that so that we don't have to deal with it killing our thing right away. And also so that we can use our mana and play a Demir Aqueduct. That's Cascade Bluffs. And then next turn we can silence it. Seems about right. Or we could devour it in shadow. Um. Yeah, I think we do that. So we're gonna add these. We're gonna play this with the white and the blue. And then we're gonna play Cascade Bluffs again. Gonna take a pain here. So we're gonna lose three life total to kill the Glissa, but I think it's worth it. And we'll pass the turn. This also keeps our options open to silence the believers if we draw another black source. Our opponent hadn't played a land last turn either, which is pretty great. Uh, yeah, I think we just land go here. We could also play Shroom to represent some sort of threat. Um, no. Land go is fine. So, especially since we're the, like, we have a much better control game than our opponent does, so playing Drago is fine by me. Sure, you've got a cage stone. My opponent has four cards in hand, cage stone on green. Not fantastic, but, you know, not terrifying. Oh, hey! Now we have triple black for Silence the Believers. So how does this work? And it's one or more mana of the chosen color. So, okay. So Savage Lands only produces double green. Moated Bastion produce, can produce like triple green or double green white. And it doesn't work on Girl Signet at all. Tarka World Render. Sure. Play another thing, play another thing, play another thing, play another thing. Oh, it's just a search for tomorrow. Getting blue mana. Interesting. Um, I think I actually just silenced the Atarka. The reason being because my opponent is playing blue, so they might be playing like Ojutai or something. Uh, hello. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? And we still have far away, far up anyway. Let me.
me guess. Genesis wave. Ulamog. No. I like this card. Hmm. Fine. We let it happen, partially because, like, can't, like, wasting far away like that seems really bad. Partially because we have the away here. Let's see, how much mana do we have, first of all? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have enough to cast room and also far away. Yeah, let's do that. And we're doing this so that my opponent can't, like, draw a better spell. Okay, well... Or a spell that they already cast, rather. We can hit him for 10 with Shroom, and if we draw Soren's Vengeance, they're just dead, which is fantastic. All right. Avacyn. Damn it. Hmm. So I think we play Time Warp here. I'm basically cycling it. So we have 11 mana, which is one less than we need to kick the Urza's Rage, unfortunately. Alright, well, can't really do anything right now. Can start storing, uh, charging Molten Sly Keep. We are going to be taking 8 here. Oh, Avacyn has Vigilance. Dang. Okay, Cruel Ultimatum or Bust, I guess. Yep. So Silence the Weavers is pretty important in this matchup just because my opponent has like uh, Avacyn, they have Ulamog, so oh shoot we were going to charge that, anyway. We're going to put a stop on our upkeep so that we can crack the mountain valley. It's a little block. Give, it, give ourselves another turn. Sure. Alright, now the big question is, do we play Urza's Rage Kicked in order to win with Soren's Vengeance next turn? I think the answer is we do not do that, because that's a terrible waste. Uh, and if we draw Sauron's Vengeance next turn, we get there anyway. Badlands, I guess? Did not get there. Do I have any more removal? Hellvault? Hell Vault's actually pretty sweet. Uh, again, flavor. Um, Arcane Denial actually seems kind of cool, but 
I think we want the Hell Vault over the whole breach. And yeah, we'll keep this hand. We're gonna play Mountain Valley tapped and pass. And then next turn we'll probably just take a pain to take just shock to play the hollow fountain. Getting a bad lens. Oh hey, we drew the island, so we want black sources, is why. Uh we might shark anyway, depending on what my opponent does, so that we can uh into the royal kicked. Nah. Um, do we want to like transmute muddle the mixture here, actually? You get like a signet to cast Kroll Ultimatum with. I, th I think we do. We're gonna get the Talisman of Dominance. Wow, we can get this card too? That's insane, but we're just, yeah, we're getting Talisman of Dominance in passing. And then next turn we can play Talisman of Dominance and Forbidden Alchemy or something. do that. We're gonna see if we can find a land. Or a Hero's Demise. Like, is that better? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's better. Just having removal is something that I like against this deck. Lucranos. Alright, well that's getting gacked. Oh sweet, Molten Slaggy. All of our problems are over. I'm just gonna kill this. Hold up into the royal, unkicked, but really it's charging Molten Slaggy. <laughs> Playing Signets is <laughs> such a headache. Obelisk of Alara. Sure. Can't actually do anything right now. I mean, anything impactful. The gaining five life aspect is a little annoying. So, Demir Aqueduct was a good draw. Now we can... Hold up into the royal and uh, charge Molten Slide Heap and cast Cruel Ultimatum next turn, maybe? We're also holding up Silence the Believers unkicked. Uh, I hope my opponent plays like an Avacyn. Maybe I just, uh, like, wait on Cruel Ultimatum <laughs> until my opponent plays something, like, super bonkers. If I have one who plays like a caged son here, I'm definitely into the roiling it at the end of turn. And I can use prismatic lens so that I don't have to take pain from this talisman. Oh, that's a bargain. We're just gonna enter the royal kick to this obelisk. And we can flashback for a bit now, can we even? Yeah, I think we're just holding up the flashback on Forbidden Alchemy now. Until our opponent plays something that's worth making them sacrifice. 
Our opponent's trying to figure out whether they want to do something with this obelisk. I'm guessing. They could spite something, but... So... Draw a discard, that's fine. Pulse, that was a sweet draw too. Let's see how much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the charge. Yeah, cool. Dragonlord Ojutai. That's fine. So we're gonna storage counter here, flashback for Midden Alchemy, um, well yes, I will take a far away. Do I just cast Cruel Ultimate from here? Let's see. Black, black, black. Red, red, blue, blue. Huh. Yeah, I think I cast Cruel Ultimate from here. Red, black, blue. You. I need black, blue. And then we have a couple of ways to deal with Avacyn slash Ulamog slash whatever. And the reason I played Cruel Ultimatum here instead of like holding up far away is that my opponent has five cards in hand and they have to discard three of them. It's unlikely that they have a bunch of chaff. Alright, yeah. Whatever, Ulamog, nobody cares. And they just shuffled a bunch of garbage into their library. So yeah, I have eight mana there. I can like charge Molten Slag Keep so I can hold up I can hold up far away next turn. It's ridiculous. Yeah, sure, you've got an obelisk. So they kept the obelisk of Alara. Ooh. Let's do that again. We would like to cast Lorthos the Fresh Maker, please. We're holding up Repulse, Silence the Believer, Strived, uh, I think. No, not Strived, but like far away. And we could have just cast Time Warp there, so, like, that's on me. But I'm not really, really super worried about getting Lorthos murdered here. Like, Bounced maybe, but we have a lot of the Bounce spells in this format, or er, in this draft. Yeah, next turn I think we just <laughs> play Time Warp. So attack twice with Lorthos, you're dead. Sure. Alright, so 
gonna play this. That. These. Time warp. Target me. <laughs> Didn't even have to bother. That's why I've cast a time warp right away, by the way, friends. Because I did not want to have to deal with that moments like Keith again. Alright. Um, my opponent does have uh, Obelisk of Alara. Is that worth putting in Hull Breach again? I mean, honestly, I'd rather play Dismantling Blow for the Obelisk. At that point, I'd cut the forest and add the planes. Yeah. Cool. Keep it. Drawing a signet would be great. But we could just like discard Cruel Ultimatum and uh Mizix's mastery then. Which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Do I do that? I think I do. Yeah, let's go. My phone's like, why did she discard Cruel Ultimatum? Because scavenging ooze isn't in this format, that's why. <laughs> Beast within. Well, you're no fun. Gonna play a swamp. So that I have something to... That was a really aggressive play, by the way. Ugh. So that I have the ability to cast Devour and Shadow if I draw a second black source. I mean, it is turn four, and we do have a single swamp. Hedron Archive. Yeah, you got it. Hedron Archive. I'm beating you down with a 3-3. Three, three. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I play the Selesnia Signet. Okay. Hit ya! Play a creature. Play a big creature. Play like an Atarka. Something mildly unsequential, but like good enough that I want to make you sacrifice it. Omnath. Sure. I guess it counts. My opponent's at three cards in hand, so. Oh hey! Another black source. Cool beans. Um, I'm actually gonna play this Cascade Bluffs because we're good at this game. Blue and blue red, whatever. Is that? Physics is mastery. This cruel ultimatum. Suddenly I'm no longer back. Set back like five turns. This is so much fun! You're discarding your hand, friend. <laughs> Target you. Sacrifice Omnath, please. Sunken Hollow was a decent draw. I'll discard a mountain. That's fine. We can play Fire Diamond, hold up Repulse next turn. We could just lava lanch them. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, sure. A 
but you're like just dead. No, not quite just dead, but you know, we're close. We're getting real close. So attack you. Play this thing and this thing and pass. This beast did work. <laughs> Play creature. I dare ya. That's kind of a cool synergy, just having Demir Aqueduct and Mizix's mastery. Yeah, that's sweet. Now I want to play Commander again. My general would be Nicol Bolas, because obviously, but... Alright, stay tuned guys, we're gonna build a Commander deck. I thought the beast within... <laughs> <laughs> That'll show you to give me a creature. Fun fact, this deck has 15, uh, two creatures in it. Please let me untap and lava at you for the rubbings. Alright, so the thing about my opponent saying GG's is like, yeah, I'm not sure, I've had it done before where my opponent says GG's and then like two phases later they beat me, so I don't say GG's until after I get the, the win, the win screen. Anyway, that was a fun game, holy cow, <laughs> that beast with it though. <laughs> anyway, uh, stay tuned, we are going on to round two after this.